I'm at the launch of the new Mustang and I'm standing here with Amanda DuPont. Amanda, what do you think of this car? Well, I mean, they called me here, so <laughs> clearly they feel this car is affiliated to me. I think it's cool. It's fresh, it's swag. Um, I don't think it's in the supercar league. I'd rather have a supercar, but it's definitely, it's for young people, I would say. And it's a car that you can still get the supercar look without showing off so much or without having spent your entire life savings <laughs> on a car. <laughs> What's your dream car? Um, dream car. How about cars I will buy in the future? I believe in speaking things to life. So, right. how about Ferrari, SLS, um, a Maybach. I know they're I probably, I think they stopped making them, but yeah, I want a Maybach. I want a Phantom. Um, I want a Lambo, not the baby, the biggie. <laughs> um, <laughs> what else? G63 just for like runarounds, like when I'm on set and stuff, yeah. Can I be a part of your like squad? I want to drive around in these cars. Babe, yeah. you're gonna have your own. Yeah, okay. But can we, we can drive together? Can we be like a? Absolutely, we can do Sunday drives. We can have a motorcade. Yeah, I can't wait until we get them. <laughs> because that's happening soon. Absolutely, happening soon. you've got to say it and believe it. Put it into if the universe. Everything in my career, I believe. I was so fat, guys. Okay, and I said I was gonna be sexy, and I was gonna be on billboards. And look at me now. Did you say you were so fat? You, I was <laughs> three times the size. And I believed that I would change. I believed I was going to be a star. And you speak your life into, into action. Tell me about that. That's a huge uh, uh, change with your physical appearance. How on earth did you do that? <laughs> well, I got tired of resting my plates of food on my stomach one day. <laughs> and, then <laughs> and then I was like, you know what, man, this is enough. Um, and I, I started exercising, eating healthy. The truth, the bulk of it, the first three months, I had to kind of starve to shrink the tummy. But now I'm really healthy, I'm really active. I work out a lot, um, I box, I Pilates, blah, blah, blah. You guys know, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i on the stores of Adidas right now. <laughs> what was the hardest part for you on that journey? Um, not being able to breathe. Mm. I don't know if you, like, unfit. And it's like you actually, I've had so many moments where I cried. I cried because I felt like I couldn't go on. For me, making my workouts, I felt like if I can make it through this, then I can make it through anything. It really makes you a stronger person. It makes, it makes me fight for things more. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, I'm definitely tougher. What's your advice for young ladies and even young boys who, who look up to you and want to be where you are? Learn to believe in yourself, love yourself, and set high standards. Don't mark your goals according to the people around you. You know, go crazy because whatever you can think or imagine has the power to come to life. I'm literally a living example of that. And also whatever, whatever religion you are or find a religion, I find that if you have a higher power, it keeps you stable and sane. When you do make it to this sort of environment, it's very tricky to lose your way, forget who you are, forget why you're doing what you're doing. Yeah.